if you're looking to visit, visit this stadium. They got it figured out here. It's more than a buzz. Ryan Denny Stadium. It's electric. Here comes the tie. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide and my coach, the great one, Coach Nick, Nick Saban. All right. Uh, this article came out Friday, maybe yesterday, but anyway, Nick Saban was at a function in Montgomery, Alabama, and he mentioned two players uh, and, a, and basically a coach, too, that wanted all this NIL money, one a high school player, one is a former starter at Alabama, but the uh, the high school player, I guess he was his coach talked to Nick Saban. But this is what Nick Saban said: someone with one of the best corners in the nation, in parentheses in high school, came to me and asked if we'd pay them eight hundred thousand dollars for the player to sign here. I told him he can find another place to play. According to Baker High School football coach Steve Norman. I'm not paying a kid a bunch of NIL money before he earns it. And that is right. That is right, man. I've been saying this. Players should not be able to get an NIL deal while still in high school. They should, they should not be able to get an NIL deal before playing one down of college football. We have seen it. These schools, they offer these guys all this money to come to their school, and then it don't work out, and the guy ends up transferring. I mean, it, that, that's just dumb. And I agree with Nick Saban. Yeah, why would I pay him, you, him, pay out $800,000 when I don't even know what this guy got? I've seen him play high school football, but that don't mean it's going to transfer or, or translate over into college football. It just don't. We have seen a lot of players that's great in high school, get to college, can't even get on the daggone field. A lot of them that came through Alabama, a lot of them that transferred out of Alabama. So I wouldn't do that either. And then uh, he was talking about the starter, with well, a former starter at Alabama, which a lot of them think it was an offensive lineman, uh, Jaheim, I'm not Jaheim Otis, that's defense, but uh, Javon Cohen. You know, he transferred out to Miami. So, uh, this is what was said about this, this one. One of them wanted five, well, let's keep going on. Well, anyway, one of them wanted $500,000 and for us to get his girlfriend into law school at Alabama and pay for it. I showed him the door. You damn right. I'm sure Nick Saban cussed him out. And, and, and that's the right thing to do. That is the right thing to do. Cuss his ass out. I, if it is, he Corn, I would, this is exactly what I told him. I would have told him. Have you forgot? You you was part of that ragged ass offensive line that couldn't do the job, that couldn't protect the quarterback for the past two years. And here it is, you want me to pay you five hundred thousand dollars and pay for your daggone girlfriend to come to law school here? Are you fucking crazy? Get your ass out my damn office. That's what I would have told him. And you can go home and tell your goddamn parents and they can come here or give me a call and I'll cuss their ass, they ass out too because they should have raised you better than that. That's what I would have told him. A damn show you. Now get your ass out my office. Matter of fact, you will never set foot in Bryant Dennis Stadium again unless it's we playing you as an opponent. Get your ass out of here. You ain't that damn good in that fucking way. But anyway, that's what I would have told him. He could have told whoever he wanted to tell. There's several guys we got lined up and incoming guys that's probably better than Jaheim Cohen. Anyway, not Jaheim Cohen, but whatever his damn name, Cohen. There's a lot of guys better than him, Javon Cohen. But anyway, I mean, it, it's, it's just straight damn crazy. You ain't finna get that kind of money out of Nick Saban. I can tell you that right now, unless you really earn it like a Bryce Young, like a Will Anderson. You know, I mean, to me at Alabama, in order to get that kind of money, you got to be one of the best players. Hell, Bryce Young, I think his 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 first season as a starter, he didn't make no more than $800,000. And shit, he was a starter and he was producing. And he won the Heisman Trophy that year. 
So for this incoming guy or his coach that have the audacity to ask for $800,000 before even getting on campus, before even attending one class, uh, 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 practice, it's just simply stupid on their part. And I applaud Nick Saban. I applaud Nick Saban for standing up to both of these clowns, man. I mean, Jesus, man. You, J <laughs> Javon Corn on the offensive line. Hell, he, he wasn't the best offensive lineman. Hell no. I look like you're crazy, man. Mm, mm, mm. Crazy. He wasn't really producing. Come on. How, an offensive line, a lineman asking for $500,000. He probably ain't even making, uh, 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 what's his name? Rodell Williams running back. Fucking Jason McClellan probably ain't even getting that. Then you got no receivers probably ain't even getting that. And then to ask for, for, for to pay for your girlfriend to come to school there, to, 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 to law school, you know, it ain't our responsibility to pay for your damn, damn girlfriend's education. Your girlfriend don't play football for the University of Alabama. You do, but you ain't that damn good. And you don't even deserve it. <laughs> Shit. Man, I think I just went the hell off on that dude, man. The coach too, the coach too. Whoever that that high school player is, one of the best cornerbacks in the nation. Uh, I think I know who he is. I just can't remember his name, but I think he wind up uh, committing to Colorado and Deion Sanders. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. I would not be paying these kids all this damn money. Ain't no damn way, no how. I'm not even going to offer you an NIL deal before you get to campus or before you uh, 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 practice. I'm not going to do it. And then it's going to be stipulations. You got to do this on the field. You got to do that, just like the NFL. You got to get this many tackles. You get this. or You got to have this many catches to get this quarterback. You got to throw this many touchdowns to do this. You got to have this many interceptions to get this. No, it's going to be stipulations. I ain't just going to come up offer you all these thousands of dollars. It, it, you have yet to do anything for me, and I'm not going to offer you all these thousand dollars when you're just an average-ass player. Bottom line. And, and for, for, for Javon Cohen to do that shit, he just damn greedy. That's what it is. You just damn greedy. So, hey, to all you recruits, if you think you're going to get a whole bunch of money from Nick Saban and you ain't earned it, <laughs> you got you to gotta think again. You might want to go somewhere else. That's all I can tell you. Because my coach, the great one, Nick Saban, is not finna cater to you when you have not put in the work to, to get what you're asking for anyway. As far as Jaheim Cohen, I mean, uh, 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 Javon Cohen, I tell you, you know what I would have gave him? I would have told him, I would have gave, I give you $5,000 for your services and you can get the hell out of my damn office and you can get the hell out of damn Tuscaloosa as a matter of fact. Matter of fact, I'm going to just pay you. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you $10,000 to get the hell off my team and get the hell out of Tuscaloosa. Roll damn tight.